Hello and welcome. This is Vishwajit Matkar, and you are watching my channel, which talks all about wellness. In this video, I am showing you exercises for senior citizens or older adults. If you are over the age of 60 years, this video is for you. In my experience as a personal trainer training senior citizens or older adults, I have seen that many of the older adults have limitations with regards to movement or physical activity and that is one of the deterrents that stops them from exercising. Well, you don't need to stop workouts or physical activity. So here I am showing you exercises which can be done on a chair. This is the first sequence of exercise and uh, before you start the exercises, make sure that your joints are prepared. So we are going to lubricate the joints right now. And lubrication of the joints starts from either top to bottom or from bottom to top. So we will start from the top, first lubricating the neck joint. So you sit on a comfortable chair, keep your hands on your thighs and just move your neck up and down, up and down. So I will show you five times. You can do it 10 times when you do it on your own. Just moving your neck up and down. You don't go too high. And stop. And now to your left and right. Five times. We are done with the neck. So next joint is your shoulder joint. So let's first rotate the shoulder joint. Keeping your hands, fingertips on your shoulders. Just go clockwise. And anti-clockwise. Five times. Keep breathing in and out. So that was to lubricate the shoulder joint. Now we work the elbows and the wrist. So for the elbows, you just go flexing your elbow. Arms up and down five times. And if you notice at the same time, I'm also working my fingers as if I'm throwing something. Five times. And now, we lubricate the wrist joint. So, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Five times, clockwise, anti-clock. And then move your wrist up and down. So that works the wrist joint. So we have worked the neck, shoulder, elbow and the wrist. Now let's move to the hip joint. So slide forward on your chair, keep your hands behind your head and twist, twist. Five times, you can do it ten times. So that lubricates the hip joint. Next joint is the weight bearing joint, which is your knee joint. So come back again on the chair, sit back, and just extend your knee. Alternate five or ten repetitions each. Slowly, without any jerk. five times and now finally we move to the last joint that is the ankle joint so you stretch your leg and just move your toe up and down look at my toe I'm moving my toe up and down and now clockwise and anti-clockwise Very good exercise, very good 
warm up for lubricating the joints, getting the joints ready. It's just like you're getting your machinery ready for moving. So five times. So that was joint lubrication starting from top to bottom. You can either start from the head to the toe or from the toe to your head. The second part of your exercise routine after joint rotations is warming up. The benefits of warming up are your body temperature increases so your body and your muscles, your joints are ready for exercise. Warming up, a proper warming up also prevents injuries. So do not forget to warm up before you start your exercise program. Come, I will show you some warm up exercises which you can do on the chair. You can do each of these warming up exercises for 30 seconds. So first exercise is marching on the spot. So while you are sitting on the chair, first just start moving your legs up and down. You are just marching on the chair. And when you do this, make sure you don't go down with a thud. You keep your feet down gently, so you are in control of the exercise. Only 30 seconds. So after marching on the chair, you will start moving your arms as well. So let's start with cross, cross. And if you find sitting back on the chair and doing this a little tough, you can slide forward. Always take a chair with a broad base. And make sure you keep your back straight, neck neutral. So you're looking straight forward. Chin is parallel to the floor. Breathe in and out. seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever works for you. So we have done marching on the chair, raising your legs. Now watch this. Okay, now let's combine this. counts or 30 seconds whatever works for you this is a very good exercise to help you with the brain to muscle coordination because you're working two opposing sides opposite limbs the hand as well as the leg so while you turn make sure that your neck is turning with your shoulder not more than that Keep looking at your palms and go slow, 10 repetitions, go very slow, this is a good warm up for the lower back, so while you're sitting on a chair make sure that when you move do not round your back, keep your back straight. So take your hands behind, raise your hands up and keep looking straight. If you see my back is straight, it's not rounding and I'm moving my hands in line. Breathe out, breathe out. Out. 10 to 15 repetitions. 10 repetitions are good enough. Okay? Sit slightly forward on the chair, keep your feet wide and 
Just stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. Breathe out as you do that. Another variation is stretching out. Stretching out. Feel a good stretch in your back muscles. And if you want to slightly increase your heart rate a little faster and increase the intensity of the warming up, then you can do this. It's Just moving your feet, fast feet. Alright? But this is an optional exercise. You can do it if you want, otherwise avoid it. Now, we are moving to the third part of your workout routine, which is the main workout. The first part was joint rotation, second was warming up, and the third is the main workout. So, I will show you an exercise for strengthening the lower body. Now this is something which you can do if you do not have any knee pain or extreme discomfort in your knee joint. It's a very good exercise, a very simple one which is a squat. Squat works your thighs, your hips and also your core muscles. So we are doing a chair squat where you just Sit at the edge of the chair and get up and slowly sit down. Get up and sit down. Now you notice my back is straight and I'm looking straight. So avoid rounding your back and avoid pushing your knees over your toes. So you just get up and down, up and down, up and down. Now some of you may not be able to go all the way up. So what I would suggest is, keeping your hands on your thighs, just go off the chair and sit down. Go off and sit down. Go off, sit down. Two. Sit down. So you are still working your thighs, the quadriceps muscles. You are still working your core, but you don't go all the way up. 10 repetitions are good enough for this exercise. Now this exercise is for the back muscles. And for that, we are using two water bottles. You could take two water bottles filled with water, same size. Uh, it doesn't need to be too heavy. It can be a 750 ml bottle or a 1 liter bottle, whichever you can grip comfortably. And now you go slightly forward on the chair. This is called rowing. It's a good exercise for strengthening your back and it's also a very good exercise for working your arms, your biceps. So you will slightly bend forward, slightly, not too much. Do not feel any pressure in your lower back. Keep your feet parallel, as wide as your hips. Look in the front and squeeze your back muscles. And go down. Squeeze your back muscles. And go down. Now if you see, the weight, the bottles are moving perpendicular to the floor. So always make sure the weight is moving perpendicular to the floor. I am squeezing my back muscles and pulling the weight up. It's also working my biceps. Now this is called a bent over row. It can be done with one hand as well. So I will show you how to do it with one hand. You can keep your one hand like the elbow on your knee. Back is still straight and you are just pulling. If you want, stretch a bit and pull. 
stretch and pull. So you're actually stretching the back muscle down and pulling all the way up. Stretching the back muscle down and pulling all the way up. While your elbow is used as a support for your back. Get that? So you can do it with both the arms or you can do it with one hand. Very good exercise for strengthening the back and your biceps. Now you can use the same bottles to work your upper back muscles. So you sit on the chair with your feet as wide as your hips. Keep the bottles down, lean forward while keeping your back straight. So whenever you're leaning forward, make sure your back is straight all the time and you don't go too low, not too low, just this much. And go up and down and down. Breathe out and down. Breathe out. If you want, you can. If you can go lower, go lower. And just pull up. Pull up. Pull up. You can squeeze your shoulder blades up. Working this muscle as well as your one more effective exercise using the bottles and this is for the shoulders it's called an overhead press so you sit with your back supported completely look straight hands elbows in line with your shoulder and just press up breathe out one two three Four, five, six, seven. So you can do 10 repetitions of this exercise. It's called an overhead press. I'm giving you another variation or an additional variation to this exercise, which is called a clean and press. So it works your biceps, your arms, and your shoulders. Start with the bottle hanging down. Take it up, breathe out, down and down. Go up, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you see, there were two variations. One was the overhead press and the other is clean and press. You can do either one or you do both of them together. Another variation for the shoulders is a front raise and a lateral raise. So I'll first show you the front raise. You hold the bottles straight down and just raise your arms up in front of your shoulders and down. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. 10 repetitions, that's a front raise. And I'll show you a lateral raise now. Lateral raise is just going to your sides. So again, breathe out, breathe in. Only go as high as your shoulders. The weight will not go higher than your shoulder. that it stops in line with my shoulder so five to ten repetitions either you do it separately or you can combine it a front and a lateral raise front raise and a lateral raise so that's five each or ten each Whatever works for you. Now this exercise is basically helpful to strengthen 
the deltoids, the smaller muscles of the shoulders, the lateral deltoid which works with the lateral raise and the front deltoid which works with the front raise. So a very good exercise for an all round development of the shoulder. So now we have some variations for strengthening the quadriceps muscles. First variation is leg extensions which we also done in the warming up but you can do it now and this time we do it with both the legs together so you first go back and your back is completely supported on the chair hold the chair or hold the seat and just raise your legs up and down you see that slowly raising your legs up and down it's a good exercise to strengthen the quadriceps muscles the muscles which are supporting your knees very much in control 5 to 10 repetitions second variation to this is come slightly ahead on your chair and while you hold the chair from behind your back is supported the upper back is supported now you are raising your legs up and while your legs are up you see i'm holding the chair from behind this will also work your abdominal muscles and if you cannot do it with both the legs together you can do it with one leg at a time you see my back completely supported i'm holding the chair for support so it's one leg or both the legs two three four one two three four one two three four two three four works the quadriceps works your abdominals also and you can come back on the chair now we have seen most of the exercises for the legs for the back for the shoulders i'll show you an exercise for working your chest and your triceps while you're sitting on the chair so you will sit holding the sides or the edge of your chair like this and come forward slide forward and now using your arms to push your body up you get up and get down get up get down so you're using your arms to push your body up so it is working the triceps it's also working the chest muscles breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in slow control movement you should be feeling it over here and your chest muscles a good exercise supported exercise do it for as many reps as you can 10 repetitions is ideal you want to strengthen your abdominals but you cannot lie down on the floor well you don't need to you can do the same exercises while you're sitting on the chair crunches crunches can be done while you sit on the chair itself so first exercise for the abdominals is crunches you sit with your lower back completely supported whenever you do the abdominal exercises make sure you concentrate on the abdominal muscles so feel your abdominal muscles tightening crunches is where you keep your hands like this on your sides while your lower back is touching the chair you will just squeeze curl your abs and up curl and up curl breathe out concentrate on tightening your abdominal muscles that's it breathe out when you go down squeeze your abdominal muscles 10 repetitions only so 
that was the first exercise. Second exercise is for the obliques. So you can keep one hand behind your head, right here, behind your ear. And now holding the chair with one hand. So you stabilize yourself, lift, elbow to the knee, and up. You see, I'm holding the chair for support. It's absolutely fine to make support. Elbow to the knee. Five or ten repetitions each side. Holding the chair, look forward and elbow to the knee. Without breathing. Without breathing. Do it very slowly, very slow controlled movements. You will feel it at the obliques. And now again. Go back so your back is supported. Keep your hands down. And while your back is touching the floor, touching the seat throughout, you just go to the side. Bend to the side. Your back is sliding against the backrest of the chair. You do not take your back off the backrest of the chair. So completely supported. You got to feel it on the obliques. Three exercises: crunches, oblique crunches, and bending on the side. These are the three exercises that you can do on the chair and still strengthen your abdominal muscles. The other way is to squeeze your abdominal muscles. But when you squeeze, do not hold your breath. So, you just tighten your abdominal muscles and relax, 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 breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You see, I'm tightening and squeezing my abdominal muscles while I breathe out and breathe in and expand, breathe out, contract. Breathe in, expand or relax. So this is how you can work your abdominal muscles. Always make sure that you finish your workout with a stretching or flexibility routine. That will help your muscles relax and recover from the strain. So stretching also like a warming up and joint rotation can be done from top to bottom or from bottom to top. So we will start. From the top again, starting with your neck muscles. So just hold. Each stretch needs to be held for about 15 to 20 seconds when you do it post workout. So I'm going to take you through these stretches very quickly, but when you do it on your own, you can hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds. So just to the sides, feeling a good stretch over here, very gently pushing your head down. Stretch for the cervical muscles, the muscles behind your neck and supporting your neck. Now, shoulders. So just press, squeeze, change. And now, take your hand behind your neck with the other hand, push down. It's a good stretch for the triceps. Now we stretch the biceps, stretch your arm, push down, so good stretch over here, stretching your biceps as well as your wrist, see that, very good stretch, and now we will stretch the chest muscles, so just go wide and close about 10 to 15 times. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your back. The stretch is for the upper back. 
And now go back on the chair. Drop your fingers and stretch your lower back. So you lean forward. And relax. Now you keep one hand on the opposite leg and just stretch. Very good. The other hand on the opposite leg and stretch. One. And now interlock your fingers, stretch up as high as you can. As I said, I'm doing it quickly, but you, when you do it, do it for 15 seconds at least, so you're relaxing each and every muscle. Now, while you're on the chair, you can stretch your glutes as well. So just pull your knee up to your chest. This will stretch the hip muscles, the glutes. Knee up to your chest. Breathe in and out. Very good. And now, keep your legs wide and spread your legs. This is like the butterfly stretch, stretching the groin. Very gently, push wide. Good. And now, you can cross your leg and with one hand, push the knee down. Pushing it, pressing it down, you will feel the stretch over here. You press your knee down. A good stretch for the hip flexors on the sides. And now, just stretch your right leg out, keeping your knee straight. Go down, touch your toe and come back up. Either you slide down or you just go and hold it. Both the ways it will work and stretch your quadriceps, the hamstrings, I'm sorry. So this is a good stretch for the hamstring muscle. And for the quadriceps, we will do an exercise or a stretch. We will do the stretch standing. So you take a support. Hold. Or if you cannot hold, ask someone else to hold it for you and very gently push. Just pull it. Pull it up. Sit down, just pull your toe up and feel the stretch in your calf muscles and relax. Pull your toe up, feel your stretch in the calf muscles and relax. And finally, after you finish the stretches, take five or six deep breath. Breathe in through your nostrils. Breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. And relax. I usually recommend doing a Shavasan after an exercise routine. If you're sitting on the chair, you can still do the Shavasan rather than lying down or if you have a bed around, go lie down on the bed and do the Shavasana. Shavasana is also called the dead pose, dead man's pose. You just lie down like you're dead and focus on your breathing, relaxing each and every part of your body. A very good exercise to stabilize your breathing. Alright, so this is how the entire sequence will go about. You start with joint rotations, warming up main exercise, stretches, and finally, shavasan, relaxation. And your workout is complete.
It should not take more than 25 minutes. Try it out and do write in your comments just below the video. Thank you.